So here we are with the flip up screen. So let's turn left here and go on a bit of a bigger road. Not this one, <laughs> the next one. Okay, as I'm approaching, uh, well, 35 miles an hour an hour and 40. Now the fluttering is getting into my face. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't really feel much different than uh, yesterday without the flip up, to be honest with you. And now we have this added weight on top of the screen. The, the pooch screen is now wobbling more, even at these slower speeds. It looked quite solid yesterday. Even on the motorway, this screen was barely moving. I was quite impressed with that. <laughs> and now we're back to wobbling again with the flip up added. Not as bad as my original screen though. And obviously uh, this flip up screen is adjustable. So basically I could mess around with it and try some different positions but yes it's currently doesn't feel any different to not having it fitted at all. <laughs> And the thing I don't really want to do is actually raise it any higher because then I'll be looking through it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it looks as if there's a film applied to it. And I've looked and looked and looked and I cannot see an edge where I can peel a film. So the visor's coming down just like yesterday. That makes this sort of speed uh, bearable, comfortable, dare I say. Yeah, this is rubbish with my visor up. Absolutely rubbish. Nice looking Hamali in there. Do I regret not buying one and getting one of these? No. I'm actually really bloody happy with this bike. Apart from the uh, screen situation and the seat situation. So you can see where it is now. Again, what I don't want to do is get it up here. So I'm going to do instead is tilt the screen forward a bit. Oh, that looks so bad. <laughs> I'm just hoping to somehow kick the air up over my crash helmet. But I just cannot see it working. So let's go up to 40 here quickly. See if it's any different. Nope. No difference in the slightest with the visor up at 40 miles an hour. Oh, this is getting annoying. So this is what I don't want. But I'd better try it. because it might be <laughs> all I need. Now, if this works, <laughs> A, I'll be disappointed. I know, but I just don't want to be, I don't want to look through the screen. But B, I do have a clear screen at home. I just thought the tinted one would be a better fit for the tinted pooch screen. But it's got this weird film-like uh, effect to it. Oh god that looks horrific. <laughs> I really am not impressed. Oh the screen's just moved by itself. <laughs> With the sheer wind blast of 24 miles an hour the screen moved. Right, 40. Oh, I don't believe it. It's working. <laughs> I've got next to no, I'm at 47. I've got hardly any buffeting hitting, in, hitting my face now. There's a bit, but nothing like before. It's much better. <laughs> no, no. Ah. Oh. It's much better. Yeah, basically I can feel it more, kind of now at my eyebrows rather than hitting me in the eyeballs and <laughs> the eyelashes. 
the screens just moved in the wind and I, 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 I could feel that that made it worse. Yeah, there, that's good, but you wouldn't believe the wind pressure against that screen there. It's, it's just overwhelming the, um, the mounts. Yeah, straight up like that, that's really good. <laughs> Except it's really not what I want. Ah, uh, FML. Yeah, so 40, visor up, no trouble. Well, I say that, I got a little bit going into the eyes at 46, 47. But again, a lot better than it was. 50 now, visor still up. Screen is holding at 57, visor up. <laughs> Amazing. How are you doing that? Right, that's enough experimenting. I can't believe it held. Well done. In a slightly lopsided manner. Yeah, so I'll put the clear screen on instead of the tinted one, which will look a bit grim with a, the main tinted screen. Yeah, 30 miles an hour here. It's as if I had the visor down. <laughs> There's just hardly any wind hitting my, hitting my face now, hitting my eyes. It's much, much better. Well, I did say yesterday if this screen was four inches taller, it would probably solve my problems. And uh, look what's happened. <laughs> I've added about four inches to this screen and it solved my problems. Well, solved one and created another. In as much as I really don't want to be looking through a screen. It is possible to maybe go the other way entirely, by the way. And, uh, get a really short screen <laughs> or take the existing screen the OEM screen the original one that I've got and I know is absolutely rubbish and take a hacksaw to it shorten it at least that won't cost me any money I've done that before because <laughs> I bet you any money that if I actually just took the screen off this bike no screen at all and I went for a ride I wouldn't have any trouble with uh, buffeting because I've been there as well before taking the screen off a bike that came with a screen and a fairing just to see what it was like to find that uh, it cut down on turbulence so stay tuned more failures to come